All right, we're going to do a video refuting the Roman Catholic doctrine of devils known as infant damnation. In the Roman Catholic Church, they believe in this heresy of infant damnation. It basically states that unbaptized infants or infants born outside of Roman Catholicism go to hell. They also believe in the wicked doctrine of devils that aborted babies go to hell as well. You know, this is the this is Roman Catholicism for you. This evil papist damnable doctrine of devils is so blatantly anti-scriptural. I'm going to show that right here. So let's get into the scriptures that the Catholic Church will not show you when it comes to refuting this, this wicked heresy of infant damnation. First of all, sin is not imputed when there is no law. Romans chapter 5, verse 12 to 13 says, in the verse there, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Okay? And a good cross reference is also in uh, is Romans chapter four verse fifteen, First Corinthians chapter fifteen verse fifty six, and First uh, John chapter three verse four. Is some good cross references on this matter. So sin is not imputed when there is no law. Plain and simple. Okay, the law, it's, you know, by the law is the knowledge of sin is what the Bible says. Romans chapter three verse twenty says. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Okay? But they have a problem there because infants are not capable of having knowledge of sin. Infants do not know right from wrong. Okay? Proof on that uh, is the fact that infants have zero knowledge between good and evil. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39. Moreover, your little ones, which ye said, uh, which ye said, should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and unto them I will I give it, and they shall possess it. No knowledge between good and evil. Yeah, and if you have no knowledge between good and evil, the thing is that I'll put it this way: since infants are not able to know right from wrong, they cannot be condemned against the law, and thus can't be sent to hell, because it's unjust to condemn somebody against the law if they're not able to understand right from wrong. Okay, that's the, what the Catholic Church fails to, to understand in this regard. Uh, and more proof on that, the fact that infants can't be sent to hell, is the fact that when David's child died, he knew who did, he would eventually go be with him and see him again in heaven. Okay, 2 Samuel chapter 12, verses 22 to 23. 2 Samuel 12, verses 22 to 23. And he said, While the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept, for I said, Who can tell whether God will be gracious to me, that the child may live? But now he is dead, wherefore should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. I shall go to him. See, David knew he would go see his child again in heaven. Now, if the infant went to hell, because he was, I guess, unbaptized, when, when David says, I'll go be with him, that would mean David. That that would basically mean that David went to hell. If we're going to be cons consistent with the Roman Catholic heresy logic right here, more proof is the fact that Jesus Christ Himself made clear that children are safe in the Lord. And when referring to children, He says, "Theirs is the kingdom of heaven." Matthew chapter eighteen, verses ten down to verse fourteen. So Jesus Christ Himself refutes this damnable doctrine of devils of Rome, of infant damnation. Matthew chapter eighteen, verses ten down to verse fourteen. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say, for I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye, if a man have an hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine and goeth into the mountains and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so, uh, that he find it. Verily I say unto you. He rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. So right there, Jesus Christ refutes the Roman Catholic uh, heresy of infant damnation. More, more scripture on the matter. Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 down to verse 14. This one also demolishes this, this damnable heresy of infant damnation. Matthew chapter 19, verse 13 down to verse 14. Then they were brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. But I guess if we're going to be uh, consistent with Catholic logic, I guess Jesus was in error for saying that. See, the, 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 the heresy of infant damnation is basically the fruit of 
baptismal regeneration, essentially. And bapt baptismal regeneration and infant damnation in and of themselves are pagan doctrines that come from Babylon, ancient Egypt, and Hinduism, and all, this other, all these other false religions. So right there you have it, the false damnable heresy of Romanism about infant damnation, scripturally refuted and debunked. And there's so many verses I can go through, go through these, just a couple of them. Like I listed off, I have an article on my website refuting this heresy of infant damnation where I go through pretty much all the verses that destroy this false doctrine, uh, one of the many heresies of Romanism. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.